what's going on guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please hit that subscribe button and today I'm going to show you guys my quick key setup for my a7 r3 stay tuned what's going on guys well here I'm back um, this video I want to talk to you guys about my custom settings uh, I know I mentioned it in my last video but I want to go into more detail and how I set it up for this particular camera um, and these settings were some of the, uh, the settings that I I used most on my Canon 6D and yeah so a lot of people were saying that the Sony menu system is like really hard to use uh, and just very frustrating and me coming from a technical background um, I, I like taking on the challenge of you know figuring things out so basically like I just wrote down the stuff that I use frequently on my Canon camera and when I switched over I wanted to transfer those same features over to this body so it was not that difficult um, yeah, looking at this, uh, you get a lot of uh, menu options and everything, and, and just it's just a lot. But um, every camera has has a menu system, so uh, it's really you just have to dive in and just take the time and figure it out. So I'm going to show you guys uh, my custom settings my, for my C1 button. C2, C3, and C4. So, uh, to how to get the, to those that menu is you're gonna go to the tab number two. Uh, I believe it's the eighth page. Yes, yeah, the eighth page, eighth page. And my, I, I'm doing this for photo, for my photo uh, usage because um, I haven't really shot video with this camera just yet so I haven't made no custom keys for it but I'm gonna show you guys for photo so this one is photo this is video and then this is for playback so going into photo um, control wheel I just left it the same uh, custom button one uh, is live view uh, displays select so basically what this enables you to do is uh, you can have your live view stay on and or you can have it off and when it's off you'll basically be able to when you adjust your um, exposure your preview will be um, um, you know showing so if the you know if you're going higher on your shutter speed the exposure is going to get darker and if you're going lower on your shutter speed exposure is going to get brighter so it's kind of you know it's a good way for um you to balance your balance your um exposure to get it perfect but that doesn't work when you're in the studio because in the studio you want to dial in your lighting and if you have that going on uh, you you won't be the screen will be like pretty much black if you're using your lights to control the whole scene so I have that as a quick button so when I know that when I'm going to do a studio shoot uh, I just tap that button uh, either pretty much right before the shoot or sometimes I'll just have it on uh, the night before I just when I go through my camera check the night before I just tap that button so I know um, when I shoot, uh, I'm gonna be in control of my lighting. White balance, I have that set to white balance on custom two. Um, just because, you know, I shoot location sometimes as well. So I would like to have a quick key to uh, set my white balance. Um, I know I shoot raw and sometimes um, I believe uh, white balance, yeah, white balance is you're able to adjust it in post, but 
why not have it in camera so you can see, you know, the closest you can get with the, the white balance. Custom three, I have the audio signals on and off. So basically say like if I'm in a situation where um, I don't want people to be getting distracted by the audio beep. So I just turn that off real quick uh, with uh, the C3 button. And this button, button actually also works as my rate button for when I do video uh, photo playback. So I'll get to that in a little bit. Custom button four, um, that's my grid line. So I just simply just tap that real quick to see uh, my composition, uh, if my framing is correct and, and all that stuff. And sometimes I just uh, have it on uh, when I just, when I'm setting up the shot uh, to make sure everything's lined up as well. Then I have, well by default, the eye autofocus button is this center button. But I changed it to the AF on button. So basically it's this button. So when I'm shooting, I hold this down, it's capturing the eye and I could just snap, 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 snap by pressing the shutter. And that's pretty much it for that. So how to set these up, um, you would just go to the custom button one, click on it and just go through the pages in the menu. So you could pretty much use any feature in the camera to set these custom buttons to. So whatever features uh, work for you most, you'll be able to do set it to one of these custom button features. Um, so now we're gonna get to this for the video playback button. I have custom button three, I mean photo playback button. I have custom button three for rating. So I have that there. So I'm going to take a picture right now and show you so I just hit the playback button this is the picture I just took it's just some magazines um, so I can rate the photos you see it right here I'm rating the photo um, that's an awesome feature that I often used in Canon, um, especially when I was shooting on location and uh, either in the studio as well, um, shooting on location studio. Uh, this rate rate button uh, is just, just amazing, uh, especially when you're shooting and you get that, that image that you just know is the one, uh, you can rate it right there. And that's pretty much it. All you do is, let's see, go to your tab two and it's page eight. And you set your custom keys right here. So whether you, you can set them for photo, you can set them for video, and you can set them for uh, playback. So anything with the camera, you can set it to. I also, my dial setup, um, I have it as the front wheel is controlling my shutter and the back wheel is controlling my aperture. And when I had Canon, I had the top wheel controlling my shutter and because I had the Canon 6D I had this wheel controlling my aperture so this is taking some getting used to but 
I actually really, really like it. It's very, very like, kind of like intuitive. <laughs> it's funny, hold on, let me. It's funny because it's like shooting, shooting a gun, like bam, 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 shooting. And then this is just adjusting the aperture, but um, yeah, so uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, uh, comment and subscribe. And I will be making more videos and keep they're they're gonna keep coming. So shoot for your dreams and see you guys on the next video. Peace.